So very quickly, I'd like to talk to you about cancer treatment. Now, we do not treat cancer one way by one doctor. No, that's old fashioned. We treat cancer with a multidisciplinary approach. We use evidence to treat cancer. When I say evidence, evidence from 20 to 30 years of research done across the world, across different populations of people who have had cancer and we have looked critically, this type of treatment works for this stage or for this type of cancer. Cancer is treated by multiple cancer specialists. For example, if you have been managed for breast cancer, you will need a pathologist. That's the person who looks at the lump under the microscope and confirms this is cancer. This is the type of cancer. This is what is fueling the cancer or what is feeding the cancer. You would need a radiologist who will take all types of images, CT scans, MRIs, X-rays. You definitely will need a surgeon who will take, uh, who will excise the lump cut off the lump and in some, in some situations, depending on where the cancer originates from, they can cut off the lump, cut off the organ. In, in breast cancer, if the lump is small, the breast lump is removed. If the uh, lump is large, then the, the breast is removed and some nodes in the armpit are removed. So surgery is an important treatment approach to um, managing cancer. You definitely need the radiation and clinical oncologist. Uh, certain cancer specialists are few in certain countries, especially in low middle income countries. However, you have the advantage of consulting with any type of cancer specialist you need via the Oncopadi Cancer app. So a common question we get on the Oncopadi app and from the community is around radiotherapy. Will I need radiotherapy as part of my cancer treatment? Radiotherapy is a critical treatment method in cancer treatment, and there's not enough awareness on the benefit of radiotherapy, but I must tell you that more than 60% of people living with cancer require treatment with radiotherapy. Now, radiotherapy is a useful and effective treatment option for the common cancers that affect uh, a lot of people. Breast cancer, cervical, prostate, colorectal, head and neck cancers. Radiotherapy is essential for managing these cancers. So what is radiotherapy? It is the use of powerful radiation to damage or kill cancer cells. There are two ways. There's the external when the radio radiation is coming from a huge machine. We call that external beam radiotherapy because the ionizing radiation, the powerful uh, radiation is coming from outside going into the body. The radiotherapy machine is able to direct the light right into the body. That's why we call it external beam radiotherapy. On the other hand, we have the internal beam radiotherapy or better known as bracket therapy. This method, we insert the radiation into the body, uh, into a cavity, and then we activate the radiation to, you know, come out right inside the body. I want you to note that radiation, you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't smell it. Uh, the, red, the therapy radiographer, a radiation um, professional, will ask you to lie down on this huge machine, lie still, and then they would run through their processes, which you will see along the way. Uh, but what's important is when you start treatment, you just have to stay still. It is a painless procedure. You don't feel anything. It's invisible. So the radiation oncologist is responsible for delivering radiotherapy to the cancer. Most times, more than 60% of cancer patients will require radiotherapy at some point uh, of their treatment. Chemotherapy is very important and different countries train their cancer specialists in different ways. In Nigeria and many parts of Africa, the radiation oncologist is also trained to deliver chemotherapy as well as radiotherapy and they are known as clinical oncologists. In other parts of the world, the medical oncologist is tasked with delivering chemotherapy only. So wherever you find yourself, it's important to know 
who are the people required to treat your cancer. It's important to know why you're going to be treated by two or more doctors and at which point will each doctor be called in. I'd like to point this out to you. The first time cancer is diagnosed is the best time to make all the treatment decisions or we call it design the treatment plan. So a man walks in with prostate cancer, the urologist who is the surgeon who specializes in the in, in areas of the prostate and male health issues is an important team member. The oncologist is an important team member who will deliver radiotherapy and chemotherapy whenever it's required. And of course, the radiologist who will do the images, the pathologist who will confirm that it is cancer. This four specialists and other specialists are required to sit at the table to identify what type of care you will benefit from the most and to design the treatment plan would you do surgery then have um, hormone replace um, hormone treatment what we call androgen deprivation therapy and there's a way your entire cancer care team will talk about your case agree together make a decision on the best way to treat you even though you can't see radiation or smell it or feel it, I want you to know that it is so powerful. Uh, from day one of treatment, the radiation begins to attack the cancer cells. The essence of radiotherapy is to, you know, direct this powerful radiation to where the cancer cell or the cancer tumor is located and then the cells are being damaged from day one. So for the first few days, you may not notice anything you may not feel anything. Radiotherapy can cure certain um, cancers, especially when patients present at the early stage. So whether it's breast cancer, cervical cancer, some of these cancers when detected early and you receive appropriate treatment, including radiotherapy, it can cure the condition in early stage. A second role for radiotherapy and why it's so important is now we use radiotherapy to reduce the risk of cancer reoccurring in the future. So we tend to use radiotherapy after surgery. If there are any leftover cancer cells that cannot be seen with the naked eye, radiotherapy will shine the powerful radiation to those areas where the microscopic cancer cells are left behind and it gets treated, damaged, and most likely killed or destroyed. The third reason why we use radiotherapy is really to control the disease. We know that cancer cells like to divide fast, they like to grow big. We use radiation to stop the growth, reduce the size of this cancer or the lump, and that way we are able to control the disease. Now, the fourth uh, reason why we use radiotherapy is really to manage the symptoms. So sometimes a patient will present with pain, uh, a swelling that is bleeding. Uh, when we apply radiotherapy, it can reduce pain significantly. It can control bleeding, stop it or reduce the amount of blood being lost from a large tumor. Another reason is radiotherapy can prevent or treat complications of cancer. How is radiotherapy delivered? You know, unlike surgery where you go in and have one surgery and that's it, or chemotherapy where you come in every three weeks, radiotherapy is different. It's given in small doses on a daily basis. So depending on the stage and the type of cancer you have, if a, a breast cancer patient comes in, and we want to cure her or you know, control the disease, we tend to give radiotherapy for three to five weeks. Same thing cervical cancer, a combination of radiotherapy can last five to seven weeks. Uh, colorectal cancer can be from four to six weeks and so on and so forth. So depending on why we are treating you and your oncologist will have, would have established this, will determine, there are se several factors that determine the dose you receive, how long you receive it for, and some of the factors that help us con um, confirm the type of radiotherapy you should receive will be, what type of cancer is this? 
What is the risk of reoccurrence? What stage is this? Are you fit for treatment? When we weigh the benefits of radiotherapy and the side effects of radiotherapy, if we understand that the benefit outweighs the side effects, we will give radiotherapy. But if we find out that radiotherapy side effects will outweigh the benefit, then your oncologist will advise whether radiotherapy is a good option or treatment will continue or will have to be discontinued. So again, radiation or radiotherapy is a powerful method and an effective method in treating cancer. And it happens because this powerful radiation can destroy cancer cells in any of the following ways. One, they are able to injure different parts of the cancer cells. They target the DNA, they target the walls, and just imagine the wall of a house being destroyed. The inner content or inner structure of that house is exposed, and that's how radiotherapy works. It tends to target the walls of the cells, targets the DNA, and damages the cancer cell. Radiotherapy also works by slowing down how these cancer cells divide fast. They also damage the reproductive function of the cell, and this is very, very tricky. Now, we complain that cancer cells divide very fast. If you are able to damage the mothers of cancer cells, they would not be able to give birth to new cancer cells, new daughters or new sons. So when we target the mothers, when radiotherapy targets the mothers in the cancer cells, and these mothers are not that they are killed, they are just not allowed to divide any further. Whenever the mother cancer cells outlive their time, they have not produced any cancer cells and that way we have cleared the entire uh, population of cancer cells. So one of the ways radiotherapy works is it stops reproduction of cancer cells. Wherever you are, you shall find out from your managing team if you will benefit from radiotherapy. And this is because more than half of people diagnosed with cancer will require radiotherapy. Whether you're in Nigeria or, or Africa, we know that there's a shortage of radiotherapy facilities in the country. There's a shortage of cancer specialists globally. But it's important that if you want optimal cancer care, you should understand if you will benefit from radiotherapy and, be, and find out the radiotherapy center closest to you so you can be referred there. You can also ask an oncologist on the Oncopadi Cancer app right now. Um, all you have to do is download the app on Play Store or App Store and right away you get to speak to an oncologist to learn more about radiotherapy. Mm -hmm.